Okay, that's kind of annoying. Hi, everyone. To my real and imagined audience. Hello. Um, I think this is working and I'm streaming online. Yay. Um, and my internet was perfect and now it's deciding to be weird. Anyway, happy Saturday, friends. Um, I'm really excited for the weekend. I'm actually relaxing. Um, I have some papers to grade, but I got a ton of grading done. Um, so I'm really excited that I don't have to spend so much time grading. Grading this semester has been harder than at any other point. I think ever, but um, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But that's actually not why I'm on live. I'm not on live to talk to you about how much grading isn't fun. I'm actually coming on. Uh, this weekend is Black Friday weekend, as we all know. Stores are having tons of savings and specials. I am a small business person myself, and my little business, my independent beauty consultant business of selling Mary Kay, skincare, makeup, perfume, all of your amazing needs. Um, I'm also having sales. So you can check me out at marykay.com slash nerdyla, marykay.com slash nerdyla. Um, all the links and everything are on all of the platforms that I'm streaming to, so you can also find it there. I can't talk or say how much the discount is because rules, um, but I do have some VIP groups that you could join. Um, on Facebook, it's Beauty Fashion Fitness with Nerdy LA, and on Instagram, it's Beauty Fashion Fitness underscore Nerdy LA, but if you just literally type in Beauty Fashion Fitness Nerdy LA, I'll pop up. Um, and if you're friends with me, then it might just be Beauty Fashion and Fitness, and then like you'll be able to scroll through and find me pretty easily. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk today about two new friends that we got in that I love so much. So these are um, matte lipsticks. The color I don't think is coming through as much as I would love for it to. Um, but I've been wanting to try these for a really long time. And so I just came on live really quick um, because I figured this is the way that I'm going to make myself actually try these. I had a raffle for them yesterday for Black Friday and someone won, Rashida Harrison won, and she gets to figure out which of the two she would like. Um, and so I'm like, you know what, I can't give these away and not actually know what they look like and know what they feel like on my skin. That's crazy. So yeah, so there's two sets. There's uh, Berry Strong and Red Alert. And um, they're just, oops, they're sitting in this little thing inside of the box. Um, and so this is Red Alert. It's kind of fun. Um, and then this is Berry Strong. They're tiny, but they pack a lot in them. Um, and then the other set is Red Envy and Taupe That. <laughs> so funny. Um, so this is, oops, uh, this, my hands are so tiny. It never really works with the light. Um, yep, here we go. So this is Taupe That. There we go. And then this is Red Envy. So I think... I don't know which one I'm going to try. This is difficult. Um, which one should I try? Okay, I think... Okay. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't make a decision before I came online. I was like, hey! Hey, Sharika! Okay, so which one do you think? Um, Barry? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try Berry Strong. Um, that's this one right here. And this is a matte, um, matte liquid lip color. Um, so I'm excited. Ooh, okay. It is kind of tiny. The wand is small. Um, but I do like, this is backwards, I have to remember. Um, I do like the little applicator. So, all right, there's a lot on here. I don't need to put it back in. All right, so I'm going to be looking up there because this is mirrored. So I'm going to put makeup up my nose if I don't pay attention. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's cool to the touch. But the color, it is, it's so rich. 
Like I barely have any on and like it's already hyper pigmented, not hyper pigmented, but just like really pigmented on my lips. And I think when you're somebody who has more melanin in your skin, and so your lips, so they also have like a nice rich pigment to them. It can be difficult to find a lip gloss or a lipstick that actually covers uh, and gives you vibrant, rich color. So. Oh, I like this. It's bright too. I didn't think it was going to be this bright. Now I do have a light behind me that I think is illuminating it more um, than what it would be otherwise. But it makes my little lips look big and I really like that. All the people in my family have really very full lips and they're also like longer than mine. And uh, growing up, I was always sad that I never got them. Uh, oops. <laughs> Thank you. I had a, um, Shruga just uh, said that she liked my hair. Um, and also that the color is really pretty. So I had twists in for about, I don't know, maybe two and a half weeks. I moisturized them and did stuff. I've had twists in for longer, you know, taken a couple out, put it back in. But for whatever reason, uh, this time, my hair started to lock and I was like, oh no. So I took them out and I was nervous that it wouldn't be so cute, but I actually really like it. Um, okay, so this is, this is the berry. Yeah, I actually really, berry strong. Excuse me, I really like it. I think I'm gonna look at it in my camera. Okay, no it is. Yeah, it's a really nice, because I felt like maybe what I was seeing on the camera was a little bit brighter because in my mirror up there, it's more of like a muted, um, almost closer to like an aubergine or eggplant, like a really deep berry. But no, in, in the picture I just took on my camera, no, it's also like nice and bright. Oh, I really love this. So it's a matte, so it's not super shiny or glossy. And then the consistency is also kind of like, it's creamy. It's like a creamy, buttery consistency. So it, it's on my lips and I can feel it, but that my lips aren't like sliding all over the place when they're next to each other. It's really nice. I'm really sad that this is, I've had this for like a week and I, <laughs> and I haven't played with it yet. I've been like, I have other things to do. I have grading. I don't have a real kitchen right now. So like I have that to be concerned about. And like, how am I going to set up my pretend kitchen in my living room? Um, <laughs> but today I was like, no, no, today you're going to do something fun for yourself. And it's trying on this. It's not sticky at all. Not sticky, not tacky. I can go like this. I think you can kind of see my lips like smushing together but there's nothing that's getting stuck between them. Like they just pull apart. So it's not sticky, it's not tacky. I don't know whether or not your hair will get caught in it when you tie, I mean like, yeah, well, no, that's a little bit, but that's actually, it was stuck on my tooth. Um, <laughs> nope, so it also like, it doesn't really get stuck to your hair. So that's nice. Um, oh, I really like it. I actually think I wanna try one more color now. So I'm gonna use, um, the a little bit of makeup remover because this color is just really really pigmented so I'm gonna wipe it off and then I'm gonna get some makeup remover so just to make sure that I've got all the color off so this is one of our cleansing cloths that I'm using they're huge uh, in size and I think this is, yeah, this is half of one <laughs> that I'm using um, they're really soft and, and very nice I use them to remove my makeup. Uh, and also when I'm doing satin scrub, I actually did a satin scrub on my lips earlier. Okay, so that's pretty good enough. Our makeup remover is an oil-free formula. It does separate, which is why you have to shake it. One part is designed to take off um, waterproof makeup and the other part is designed to take off your everyday makeup. Okay. The last little bit off. Okay. 
Looks like my lips are back to their normal color. Yep. Yep, they're clean. Okay. So now I did the berry. So the remaining colors are mm -hmm, Red Alert, Taupe That, and Red Envy. So two reds and a taupe. I'm really worried that the taupe is going to, um, I'm really worried that the taupe is going to be like ash on my lips. <laughs> Not everything works <laughs> with pigmented lips, as I was saying earlier. Um, I took a lot of moisture out of my lips, so I'm just going to put a little of the uh, Shea Moisture. Um, this is from the, this is the Shea Butter Lip Balm that comes with the a satin lip set. Just put a tiny bit on there. Okay. All right. So the Red Alert is clearly um, an alert, right? Like it's bright. And then the Red Envy is more... Um, I think it's more muted, a more muted red. Um, and then this is the taupe. All right. All right, friends, I'm going to try the taupe. If I look crazy, you can laugh at me. Um, yeah, I would laugh at me too. All right. Fingers crossed though. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. It's like, it's pink on me. Yeah, no. Oh, you know what though? Ignore me. Ignore me right now. <laughs> it's like it's like a really bright pink color on me, but I think I think that this would be really beautiful as like an ombre lip. So I'm gonna take the red envy as my base. And then I'm going to let it kind of dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go over top with the taupe that. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that pun working in my favor. So I think by itself, I would wear the taupe that. But hey, Linda. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I think with the uh, taupe, it's a little light for my skin tone, um, but I would still wear it. I think on would be like a really kind of fun pink, like a really kind of bright uh, light, not bright, but a really kind of light pale pink shade. Okay, so Linda, I'm trying out some new matte lipsticks that we got in and they come in as a set they're cute and tiny like this oh it's so cute and there's uh, this is red envy and it comes with taupe that and then there's red alert and that one comes with um berry what's the second word i'm gonna forget it um berry strong and they're in like these cute little boxes it's a really nice stocking stuffer for somebody who um enjoys lipstick thank you i actually i really like this um red envy color i'm noticing that i think i'm missing a little bit on the outside part of my lip there we go and a little bit on the side too Okay, there we go. Now we are good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, no, I still got that a little crooked. See, using a mirror that's really far away from your face and not ideal. I'm just gonna get my phone really quick and um, get this fixed. There we go. No, that's better. My lip just looked really weird for a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two colors together, like a little ombre, and I'm going to see how it works and how I like it. Um, oh, oh, I do have them up there. I don't want to mess up the wand for the taupe that, and this is the, um, this is the taupe that. Uh, there we go. There's the camera, and there's my light. So I'm going to use... 
a secondary wand um, to keep it kind of nice. There we go. And I'm wondering if I pull that extra off. I'm wondering if this would be like a really cute kind of layered thing. So I'm just gonna try something out. We're gonna see how it goes. But I'm gonna use my camera on my phone so I can see myself better and see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, friends. Yes. So now I've got, I just went ahead and I put a little bit on, but then I put my lips together and it completely changed the color. Clearly it would do that. <laughs> Cause I put two things together and when you add two colors, a new one forms. But um, I really like this. And I could also, I think just kind of go in there again and play up the difference in the color kind of right in the center of my lips. So it's a true ombre. All right, so we have a darker color on the outside of the lip and then a lighter color in the center. I am no makeup artist yet. That uh, one day I will get myself <laughs> to that space. But, um, so this is not gonna be a perfect ombre. So my apologies to the makeup artists out there. Uh, if I'm doing this wrong, please give me tips. I love to learn. That's why I, I'm still in school. Cause I'm never gonna stop learning. Okay, so, all right. So I've got like a pinky pinky in the middle and like a really dark red around the outside or darker kind of reddish pink around the outside. I like the ombre. I also enjoy what these two colors do together. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's mirrored. Okay. I got to do it up here. Uh I do really like it. And I think I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking the ombre out a little bit further so it looks more like a lip liner than it does two different colors. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. Having browner skin and having more pigmented lips, I was not sold by any stretch of the imagination on the taupe that. It was really light um, in color. Uh, and it was kind of like, whoa, whoa, like this feels a little too light for me but I love it that I can layer it on top of the other one. It still doesn't feel sticky. It still doesn't feel tacky. I don't feel like I have 20 pounds of anything kind of sitting on my lips right now, even though I went over it with two different um, lipstick colors. So yeah, what do you think? Does it look good? Tell me what you think. I love your I love your opinion or as my kids say your your opinions. <laughs> I don't really know where the D comes from in that word, but you know, kids. <laughs> um okay. Well, I am excited to go to my living room and have a date with myself with my new pretty lips. Um I think I might actually just start wearing these pretty consistently. Okay, now I've tried everyone except for, um, yay, it's cute without being too much. I think, yeah, I think so too. Like I could like throw this on really quick and go to the store and I don't feel like, <laughs> my opinion, uh, but I, I don't feel like I'm super made up. You know, sometimes when I put lipstick on, I'm like, oh, I'm wearing lipstick today. Um, but this, this, it doesn't feel that way. Um, and I don't think it looks that way either. But now I feel like I am, um, ignoring red envy and I, I feel like I shouldn't do that red envy might get mad at me and then the, and then when I come in to do my makeup next time everything 
it'll be like, it'll be poltergeist and everything will be where it's not supposed to be. So I'm going to take this um, hybrid off um, and then I'm going to put on the red envy. But no, I, I really, I really do like this. Um, it's really soft, very easy. Um, it comes off super easily too. So you're not, you're not going to be spending like 25 years, like trying to get it off, even though, um, it is a brighter color. Cause sometimes with reds and pinks, your lips are like stained for days afterwards. I'm just trying to get it off. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. So you can actually see the, um, separation happening with the makeup remover. It's dermato dermatologically tested, um, uh, non comedogenic, all those like really awesome, amazing things, um, suitable for sensitive skin and has no oil in it. Uh, I'm just going to come in really quickly. Oh, wow. Got a lot off. Um, yeah, it does. It really looks effortless. Um, again, these are really nice stocking stuffers. I've got lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> have you ever had those moments where or not moments have you ever had it happen to you where you um you're wearing something and maybe i don't know you have like lipstick on or maybe lip gloss on um and you <laughs> and uh you're like you're, you're doing something and you're talking to somebody and they're kind of looking at you and you're like, why are you looking at me like this? Um, but they don't say anything to you. And then you go to the bathroom and, um, <laughs> and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, what the heck? <laughs> and you realize that you have like lipstick on your teeth. Yeah. That's happened to me before. Um, and I kind of felt like that in that moment. Uh, not that you all are supposed to be, you know, saying to me like, hey, you got lipstick on your teeth, but just kind of like that mortified feeling because I was in front of other people. Yeah, it's almost come on my teeth. Okay. They're clean. I'm just wiping them just to wipe them right now. So the nice part about this, so the um the taupe that and the red envy is slated is kind of like your nine to five look. Um, and then the berry strong and the red alert are pushed more for like a night out. At least that's like kind of the advertising that's associated with them. I think they work for any time of the day. Um, I can definitely see myself though doing um the the red envy with the taupe that kind of like how I mix them together and having that just be like an everyday look. But now now friends we are going to try um the red alert i was just looking for my i literally just put it on my lips and now i cannot find it here it is um i'm gonna put a little bit moisture on uh because i just stripped my lips again oh this stuff is so nice the satin lips mm -mm. i love it so 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 much sharika you got the satin lips have you tried it yet I don't know if you like it. Show what you. Oh, <laughs> oh! I can actually have them pop up on the screen. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, I did not know I could do that. <laughs> I learned something today. Um, I can have comments up on the screen, but how do I make it not be there anymore? Okay, I guess maybe it'll disappear. Um, okay, well, we're just gonna leave it there for now. Cause, um, oh, you love it. Okay, awesome. I'm so glad. Uh, so I did a live a little while ago and, um, well, no, I, I uploaded a video of me doing, um, satin lips and, um, it's really amazing. I love it so much. I'm going to do another one on live. I did it on, um, Joseph's lips, uh, a little while ago, I think on Halloween. And he said, why have, why haven't you ever done this to, to me before? Like, why is this the first time you're doing it? You know, I have dry lips. And I was like, I've been bugging you to like be my guinea pig for all this time. And you're like, yeah, babe, sure, sure, sure. And now here we are, you know, months later. And he's like, why didn't you do it before? Um, but anyway, if you have dry lips, if your lips flake, 
if you just want smoother lips, if you want your lip gloss to glide even more evenly, if you want your lip balm to glide more evenly, if you want to get rid of like hanging skin or anything like that, um, Satin Lips is really amazing. It's a sugar scrub that's really easy to use. You just scrub scrub your lips and then, you know, wipe off the sugar scrub. I, I, sugar scrub. I always use water um, and then you're good. And it comes with um, a shea butter balm. There we go. Come on, light. You can work. But let me move the product back here. Yeah, I'm still not. You can tell I'm not like a fancy YouTuber because I can't quite get my light to work. There we go. <laughs> this is the lip balm. And you can just use the lip balm whenever. So this is what I've been putting on after I've been stripping my lips, getting that um, lipstick off so that I can try the next one. So this is the very last one. So I've tried three and this is the fourth one. It's a set of two um, and there are 16 bucks. Um, so it's pretty affordable. I think that's a pretty good um, deal. And I'm also having, as I said in the beginning, it is a pink weekend. So I'm having cyber deals or cyber deals. I'm having savings all weekend. Today is small business Saturday. So shopping small. Um, if you're part of my VIP, you get an extra discount on every single sale. Um, and that's on Facebook, beauty, fashion, um, and fitness with nerdy LA, um, and then or beauty, fashion, fitness rather with nerdy LA. And then on Instagram, because you can't have spaces, it's smushed together, beauty, fashion, fitness, underscore nerdy LA. But if you just type in like beauty, fashion and nerdy LA, it'll pop up or beauty and nerdy LA and it'll pop up. Um, okay. So on to the last one, I'm going to use no, I'm just gonna use this because this has been easiest. I'm gonna do it in my camera. Um, and we're gonna see what this, if this red envy will really make people envious. You should see. Okay. Still super creamy. Oh, it's very, it's very bright. Uh, <laughs> still a really creamy formula. It glides really nicely. I don't think you need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm doing it. My lips look weird. I do when I do it this way. But I'm making like a little X along my uh, lip line to kind of get my pout a little bit more exact. So this one did not have as much on the wand as the other ones did. So I'm just going to go in and get a little bit more to finish this up. Okay. So while the berry was definitely... Um, chill like it was bright but it was also just like i think it was also kind of subtle or subdued a little bit i <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because the kids are downstairs playing and zion just said ah, i don't know he's just tied up and i don't know why that made me chuckle or what they're doing right now um <laughs> that uh, something is tied up downstairs. Uh, he could also be running a line from one of his uh, movies or TV shows because he does that, a running monologue. Okay, so now I'm just being a perfectionist right now. Um, I definitely would wear this during the day. Like, I'm not going to wait till nighttime to put this bold lip on. Oh, okay, that's how I get it to go away. Okay, um, I'm definitely not like, oh, I, I can't be bold in the daytime. I can only be bold after five. Like, that's not me. Um, I definitely would wear this during the day when I'm like feeling, when I'm feeling myself um, or if I'm feeling like more kind of like, yes, I want you to come talk to me. Yes, I want you to look at me. Yes, I want you to see how amazing this looks. Um, because it looks great. At least I think it looks, I think it looks great and that's what matters, right? 
Um, yes, the, the colors all applied really evenly. I didn't have to. So the, the Red Envy was the only one where I had to go back in and get a little bit more product. And that's just because when it came out, there was very little on it. So um, when you take them out, you can see, oops, there we go, that there's like, there's not a lot of buildup on the brush. It's a little um, fuzzy. I think my internet's not being the best right now. Um, and it's also a tiny brush, right? Which makes it difficult. Um, so yeah. So it's just a little bit on the brush um, and that's actually the red alert. This is the one that I have on. So I did have to go back and put a little bit more on um, the brush, right? And so you can see the difference. This is the, um, uh, oops. Yeah, this is the Red Envy. This is the one from the Taupe That collection. Um, and this one had, whoops, I accidentally brushed it off. Um, but this one you can see has a little bit more on it. Um, but it had really even and smooth application from the beginning and it, and it covered uh, my lips, right? So one of the things that when you have lips that are have like a little bit deeper pigmentation to them, um, like a little bit deeper red, a little bit deeper pink, maybe touches of brown in there, that the or, or just brown, um, that the the color of the lipstick won't show through because it's really light and it's not like a thick and rich formula. And this does have a very thick, a very rich formula um, in it. It's not sticky. It's not tacky. I don't feel like my my lips are weighted down. Um, yeah, and it's definitely matte. Um, I can still move them back and forth. It feels really soft. Like, I don't know, how, it, it, it's like a cream. I don't know how else <laughs> to describe it, but it feels really like a really gentle, soft, but creamy formula. Um, and now the trick is just how the stress test, right? Like how many different things can I do and still have the lipstick stay on? Um, but yeah, I, I love it. I'm going to take a little sip of, um, bubble water or a few sips of bubble water. Um, very little spill. So I'm actually going to take the straw out. Um, just that, <laughs> that's the only spillover or the only little bit that came off. So I think that's also really great because one of the things I hate is putting lipstick on or lip gloss on and then I take a bite of something or I sip something and then like there's a giant like ring <laughs> missing from the middle of my lips where I just like did something. So anyway, uh, I really love it. I am a fan. Um, again, there's two sets. Um, they come in these cute little boxes with their really nice size, perfect little stocking stuffers. Um, and then, and you can stack them. So you can do an ombre like I did where you can put one color on top of the other. If you have other lip lipsticks, you can totally mix it in with those. Um, and so there's Red Envy and Taupe That. And so this is the one where I did the ombre. The taupe on my skin is um, more pink um, than taupe. Um, I, I would say if you have sensitive skin, it would be okay. I have really sensitive skin. My lips are not quite as sensitive as my face is. Um, but when I, I have had problems when I put, um, lipstick on, if I get like a little bit on the side, like my skin gets irritated. And as you can tell, I've, uh, not been very perfect with my application. I've definitely gotten some on the side of my face and I didn't have any problem, but if at any point in time you ever do experience sensitivity, you have 30 days with any product. Um, and you can just say like, hey, this didn't work out for me. No additional questions, nothing like that. You can exchange it for something else. Um, and if you don't have anything else to exchange it for, you can either bank the money with me or you can get a refund. So you're never tied into anything. I don't know how many times I just got rid of a bunch of makeup. I can tell you how many times because the girls are living their best lives, literal best lives, because I went through my makeup and I consolidated and I threw a bunch of stuff away. And there were like six lipsticks that they got that I was like, oh, this color is going to be perfect. No, no, this color is not perfect. It's not cute. It's not good. It doesn't feel nice. It's sticky. It's tacky. It's not creamy. It's not rich. Um, or it just makes my lips feel 
gross, right? I, I don't know if anybody else has had that experience where you put a lipstick or a lip gloss on and it just feels yucky and you don't want to wear it anymore. Um, but I pass that on to my daughters. So they're like, they're seven and five. They're obsessed with the fact that they get to like put blush on and, you know, things like that. Um, but if you ever, <laughs> if you've ever had that happen, um, even if you get this home and you're like, oh, I like, I love that it's creamy, but the matte look, I thought I was going to love a matte, but the matte isn't for me. Don't worry. Right. You can always work with me or independent beauty consultant and we can find something that's perfect for you. So if you want to check it out, go online and look at the colors, you can go to marykay.com slash nerdy LA. That's marykay.com slash nerdy LA. If you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on um, uh, YouTube, um, then the links are on all of those pages as well. So you don't even have to Google. You can just go to my information. The link is there. You can click the link and you can go there. And like I said, I'm having a sale all weekend long. Savings today, savings tomorrow, savings on Cyber Monday. Um, so you can save on these. Uh, somebody in your family might be interested in them, a fun little um, quick holiday uh, delight, <laughs> stocking stuffer, or treat yourself. I am a big fan of treating myself, which is why I have both colors because I felt like I deserved having both colors. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I don't have a real kitchen and I'm teaching my children's school. And I'm also working. So I was like, I deserve this. Um, when I hop off of here, I'm going to take this lipstick off and I'm actually going to do a mask. I'm so excited. Um, mad about masking. This is one of our other holiday delights. I don't know how many are actually still in stock um, online, uh, but I do have some of my own. Um, and there are four masking pods in here. I know Sharika has tried this um, and I don't know if she has a favorite yet. Um, I love all of them. There's one that's for your pores, kind of like clean it out. There's one that has like um, Japanese green tea, so it energizes and zhuzhes your skin. Uh, then there's Lady Serenity. That's the one that has pro vitamin B5, so you feel like refreshed and like um, relaxed and rejuvenated. And then the last one is Dewy Gal, and that's the one that makes your skin look dewy. So all of those makeups that give you the dewy, youthful glow, <laughs> this is a mask that does that. So I'm actually going to use Energy Queen. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to make my skin shush up when I'm going to bed. I'm actually going to do Lady Serenity tonight. Um, I'm going to do a nice little mini spa session um tonight and and i think that'll be really i think that'll be really fun um so yes i think um i you know this red envy has really grown on me the more i've been sitting here kind of talking and like catching glimpses of my of the red right while i'm talking i really i really love it I do. I really like it. <laughs> I also look like I've, I'm about to go somewhere. Um, I'm going to go to my living room and um, watch movies, I think. Joseph is out playing nerdy games with his dork friends. Um, I should say he's out playing geeky dorky games with his dweeby friends who I like to tease him. Um, <laughs> so I have the house to myself and the kids are going to bed. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to find a really bad movie. Because if you don't know this about me, I love bad movies. I love bad movies. I love, <laughs> I don't really know why, but I do. Oh, Shrika said Lady Serenity is her favorite. Um, yes. Oh, just to buy that. Yeah, just to get the Lady Serenity. I will forward that request <laughs> up to corporate because it would be nice if you could just have Lady Serenity as a mask that you consistently go to um, and not have to buy four mask paws <laughs> so you can use one of the four that you really love. Um, the other three are also really great and very nice, but if you have a favorite, it'd be nice to be able to get that. So I'll forward that request and I'll let you know what they say. Um, they have lots of products where I'm like, you just need to keep this. Like, I don't know why this is a limited edition <laughs> thing. Like you should just always sell this and always have it um, for, for people to purchase. Um, so I'm excited to do my mask um, and to have like a nice kind of serene, chill evening. Um, I still have some Thanksgiving, uh, some Turkey Day leftovers. Um, yeah, <laughs> that 
There, Sharika said they're all good, but there's something about that one that she just really loves. Um, she can't explain why, but she really loves it. And I think that's how things are sometimes. Like it feels really good on your skin. Maybe it's relaxing. Maybe, maybe after you take the mask off, your skin feels different. Um, and it always feels a little bit different when you take it off, but it feels better or you feel relaxed or rejuvenated. Um, or maybe like there's an aromatherapy thing that's going along with it. You just, you can't put your finger on it, but it's just so good when it's done. I really love the masking pod set as well. I think that's also a really great, um, if it's a, if you have more expensive stocking stuffers in your family, I think it's a cool stocking stuffer. I think you could also get the set of four. So there are four pods in there and then you could break them up, you know, do two and two or, you know, split one, 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 um, and then have like a cute little pamper pack. Um, you could get like the mini, um, the mini lotion uh, or mini um, exfoliating scrub, like a body scrub and a body wash and a mask, um, and then give that away to, to your family um, in like a cute little bag or something like that. And I can totally put that together for you. I can do the packaging. I can do all of that. I can also ship it to you and then you can do the packaging and that would be a really cute Christmas gift. Um, or, you know, if you just have those four products and you don't, you're not mixing with anything else, that could be a really fun stocking stuffer, right? Like something for self-care. And I think in the middle of a pandemic, we all need self-care and you also should get that. I mean, for yourself, right? <laughs> so you could engage um, in in self care. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for a little bit of self care Saturday. Um, tomorrow is the start of my work week, so I will be back to grading some papers tomorrow. Um, not the whole day, just a couple of hours, um, and doing laundry and picking up the house. You know, the not so fun stuff of adulting. Um, but tonight, I'm going to wash my face with our naturally line or purifying cleanser um that's 99.49 percent all natural and super amazing eco certified which means it's certified in europe is actually being natural in the u.s you can add about four to five thousand chemicals uh, and still call something natural which is rude but true <laughs> um, then i'm going to do this scrub and i'm going to add a little bit of our so it's a powder scrub it looks like baby powder um it's really fine very tiny microbeads non-plastic, environmentally friendly. Um, when it runs down your drain and into the environment, it's not going to mess a bunch of stuff up. Um, I'm going to do that with some of the naturally oil and scrub my face and, you know, get my pores nice and clean. Um, and then I'm going to do this Lady Serenity mask. And, um, and after I have that all done, then I'm going to plop my butt on the couch and I'm going to watch a really bad movie. And I'm so excited. If you have recommendations for bad movies, like please send them to me. Um, I like movies that are intentionally bad too. Uh, so we just watched the dead don't die. I think that's the name of it. It's a 2019 movie star studded. So many people in that movie. Um, and it's intent, like it's designed to be like wonky and like a bad movie cult classic, but it was created to be that. And the funniest part is that the reviews are like, this movie doesn't make any sense and it just ends randomly and I don't understand and the acting is bad and it's like, no, but it was, it was intentional. Um, so if you have movies like that, that's also like, please send them or share them with me. Um, all right, friends, it's nine o'clock. I got to go get my little humans ready for bed since I'm on solo parenting and I am really about um, to get my bad movie and I just got a bad movie <laughs> suggestion. Oh my gosh, this night's gonna be so good. Um, the app that stole Christmas on Netflix. Oh, okay, that's what I'm watching tonight. The app that stole Christmas. I am so here for that. Um, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much um, for sharing that with me. I On my next live, um, I will talk a little bit about the movie and like my, because I have my own kind of rating system for bad movies. Um, I'll talk about that and share that with you. So thanks again for joining me either when I was live or later, because <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about lives is that they share. Um, oh, it's only an hour, so I can, I can watch two bad movies tonight. This night is just getting better. I'm so excited. Um, so the app that's still Christmas is only an hour long. I'm going to watch that. Then I'm going to find another bad movie. 
So feel free to share more with me that you can think of either in the comments down below um, or on the side. I don't actually know how the streaming works on the platform that it's on um, or text me <laughs> or email me or at me and just give me your recommendations because I would love them. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and kind of hanging out with me as I tried out our new holiday delights, these mini matte amazing cream lipsticks that have that are color packed and infused that feel amazing and rich that glide on your lips so effortlessly and even if you have uh, lips that are slightly more pigmented um, than I think kind of the lips we tend to see lipstick displayed on uh, in mainstream kind of uh, commercials and advertisements you don't have to pile it on to get amazing color literally one glide and the color is there so and it has sting power it doesn't come off. I actually don't, I forgot for a second that I had lipstick on. Like I'm gonna be completely honest, I really did forget that I had lipstick on my lips. So that I think tells you something about how light the formula is, but it still feels amazing and looks great. Um, so it's 16 bucks for two mini lipsticks, which I think is actually a pretty good deal. You can get them on sale, so you can get them even cheaper than that which is always nice. Um, so, all right, friends, I'm going to be on live again on Monday for uh, Cyber Monday. So I hope to see you there. Um, if not, I will see you in the digital or real world. All right. Bye.